Hello and welcome back my fellow trainers. My name is Phoenix Hero and today we are back with another fantastic week of Pokemon cards. So we are starting off the week really really good with a booster box opening of Sword and Shield Base. Set. So we're starting off the beginning of this week with a Sword and Shield booster box opening and then probably midweek we're going to do a Champion's Path ETB opening and then the last video of the week, I'm not too sure yet, I'm still kind of ballparking that one, but I might have my friend hop in and we might do just a small video, but still a very strong week of Pokemon cards coming ahead. But let's just go ahead and jump into this Sword and Shield booster box while I'm searching for a full art Marnie this time. That is the one we want. So let's go ahead and hop into the video, guys. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open up this Sword and Shield booster box. So we got this magical boy right here. I have never had the chance to open a Sword and shield box like this. Uh, the only booster box I've opened before was the Vivid Voltage box, which I did in an earlier video. And that was a ton of fun. There was a lot of good pulls. So I've been really, really enjoying opening this intense amount of packs. And what a better way to start off the year with just an absolute fudge ton of Pokemon cards. Oh, look at that. Daddy's got a fat stack of cards right here. So. They are all pretty well mixed up now. I'm going to go ahead and just set all these off to the side. All right, guys, and since we are searching for a full out Marnie, I figured I'd bring out my Champion's Path Marnie mat for this bad boy video. So wish me luck, guys, and let's see what we can pull today out of our Pokemon Sword and Shield um, booster box here. All right, let's start off with an energy. We got a Poke Gear 3.0 and Aurora Energy. Uh, Ferrothorn, we got a Goldeen, Rosalia, Joltik, Silicobra, Blipbug, we got a Corvus Squire followed by a, woo, starting it off with a Lapras V. Not a bad pull to start it off, I quite like this Lapras, he looks super angry because he knows it's about to be turned into the SSN on Evolution. Okay, Lapras, thank you for your magicness. What are we gonna see today? So, again, if I haven't said it enough, we're looking for Marnie and a couple other good pulls. I, I hope we see some secret rares today, um, a full art trainer or two, because you guys all know at this point, I'm still looking for a American full art trainer, which I just don't have one. Life has not been nice enough to give me one yet. And you know, it is what it is, but I definitely want to see someone uh, soon. Palpad followed by uh, Magnolia. Give me, do your research, Magnolia. Where, where are your Pokemon friends? That are all the goods in this pack. Okay, got a water. Hit my leave. Ooh, rare candy. <gasps> Followed by the lucky egg. I've seen Max Mofo's videos before, and I know that when he got those pulls, he got something good. So we got the lucky egg and rare candy. Is that gonna lead to something fat? Instead of just a fat thwacky hanging on a branch, followed by a no! <laughs> It's just a Drampa. Boo. Boo, Drampa, we did not need you. I was hoping to see something shiny from that one, and instead we got a sleepy dragon. When the packs start to get hard to open, that either means there's some goods inside that doesn't want to come out right away, like trying to catch something with a Pokeball, like a higher end Pokemon, and instead it just keeps breaking. All right, so we got an energy, a Kingler, Right on. Ooh, the big charm this time. Come on, big charm. We need your luck here. Meow, score bunny. Uh, Sinus T. We got a Maractus. Ooh, uh, reverse hollow trudel. Followed by uh, a grap locked with his full on dong swinging in the air. Now, if you guys have seen my other videos, you'll know I have a huge issue with grap locks. Almost worse than my Beedrill curse, which is good we haven't seen Beedrills for a long time. Because for a while there, I kept opening up packs, and I was just getting Beedrill after Beedrill, and he was just Beedrilling me into the ground. Uh, heat more, Saucer, Quick Ball, we got Nicket, Chinchow, Diglett, Ferrisseed, Goldeen, uh, Cottony, followed by uh, non hollow Raichu, though, but very cool art. He's kind of like surfing on his... Is he using like electric surf? That's actually really cool. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite Pokemon, ever since I've been a kid, one of my favorites has been a Raichu, the uh, base form. I know the Alolan form is fantastic, but I've always really liked the base form Raichu. And um, I don't know, what are you guys' favorite Pokemon? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, do you guys have an absolute favorite Pokemon? 
uh, so far out of all 800 plus or however many there are? Or is there, um, do you guys like any from the first original 150? If you're as old as I am, about to be 30, or uh, if you guys are older, then you guys would love the first 151, at least to my, I would assume so. Sizzlepede, we got Zigzagoon. Oh, Krabby followed by a, oh, a Wabafet V. What's he doing? Is he sleeping on the ground laying down or is he doing a smash? Looks like he's doing gritty comeback as his tail there stares him in the death eyes. I don't know, we got a lava fit. <laughs> but two Vs so far. No V maxes are better. Um, come on now. We're gonna need to see a little bit better than that. Zashian, Zamazenta, the Poke Gods of Time. Oops, I wasn't supposed to do that. That ruins that there is a holographic or better, I believe. So, let's see if that is the case. Water, Haunter, Vitality Band, Raboot, Grookey. Ooh, we got all of the starters right there. Uh, right on, Rosalia, Ferroseed. Uh, we got a Wimscott followed by a, a Delmize V. Another V card. Well, I think it's about a fair ratio so far. I don't know how many packs we've opened yet. I've already lost count because we just have way too many to go through. But I think we're pulling a V card. Uh, every other pack is what it seems to be so far. What do we go? Oh, don't don't see that. I didn't see anything. I did not see Jack from that code card Okay And here we go. So let me guys know what you think as well. I've changed my layout to try to add more um, I haven't talked about this to try and add more to my videos to see if you guys really like seeing those stats of what I paid for the box and our target goal is to actually beat what we pay for so down here somewhere in the bottom corner is the total amount of I'd say depending on the box um, it's gonna be pulls from either just the commons, the Vs, the Vmaxes, so we're kinda of just trying to see if can we make up what I paid for the box or do better. Uh, Evolution Incense, followed by, ooh, there we go, a Holographic Cinderace. I do not have one of him, but he, um, is the starter in my um, playthrough of Pokemon so uh, Sword. Yeah, I was playing through Pokemon Sword. I really like Cinderace, the bunny's super cute. Um, Obviously, Score Bunny is the first version of you get, and I was so, so sad to evolve him because he was such a cute little boy. Oops. Oh, there you go. You guys know we're getting some, uh, getting some cheeks of the ass here on this one. Rare Candy, Lumberry, Corvus Squire, Score Bunny, Silicobra, Yamper, Grookey, Cufon, blah, 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 or Beetle, followed by a Wimscot. Ooh! That's a really cute art of Wimscott though. It looks like it's snowing outside and maybe like it's Christmas time and he's letting out <laughs> he's letting out all the hot air in your apartment. So thank you Wimscott. I uh paying for my heating bill was uh is hard enough, so thank you for keeping the window open for me. All right. Third card. Or flip it around. We got a water. I got hammer, kingler, hyper potion, goldine, yamper. Um, thingy, Clobopus, we got the cute little Wooloo, Krogunk, followed by a Poltegeist. The tea you do not want to drink, otherwise you may end up in the hospital, or <laughs> you might end up in the desert somewhere, depending on the tea's psychedelic effects. Go card again. Now, I don't know if there's a secret rare guaranteed per pack or how many good cards are actually guaranteed within a booster box, if any. I'm not entirely sure. Um, if you guys know that answer down in the comments, please let me know. Or at least are my odds of getting some really good pulls fairly good out of boosters. Um, or what you guys think of any other product. So, or beetle again. Nothing there. And it's funny, all my cards keep kind of sliding to the side because I just kind of have a, a growing pile down to the <laughs> down right below me here of a bunch of all the garb cards. So we're about due here for a good pull. We've gone through a fair amount of packs with nothing good so far. So I think we're going to be due for something here in the next couple cards. Crushing Hammer, Switch, Sizzlepede. We got the Snow Snob. We got the Mawile. Gloss of Fleur. Come on, camera. Goldeen. Uh, we got a Bonita, followed by a non-holo Dreadnought. Oh, I th I'm feeling it. Come on, guys. Give me your luck. Put your hands up in the air. I need your help here. I need you guys to give me all of your luck and give me your key so I can see a magic pull coming up here. Full Art Trainer, Secret Rare, 
a VMAX for God's sake. <laughs> Potion, trainer, right on. Elder Gloss, Muna, Snom, Grookey. Oops, sorry, that one stuck together. Shelter, Mawile. We got the blue bird, Cramorant, followed by a Sandy Cobra. Boo! Come on, man. Remember way back when I said we were due for something good? It's supposed to be now. Maybe because this was the pack that was supposed to have it in it. Okay. Energy. Mantini. Dottler. Corvus Squire. Rosalia. Uh, Joltik. Silicobra. Blipbug. Uh, Goldeen showing the goods. Sinistee followed by a non hollow Corviknight. Wow, this is a pretty crap pull. Well, maybe it's because what I did was when I switched all the cards up, I, I reversed everything from the bottom. So maybe all the pulls were front heavy and the bottom part of this pack was absolute butt. But you never know until we get down there. Okay, starting off with a fire. Pokemon Catcher, Haunter, Vitality Ban. Ooh, the sexy Salamander. We got the cock punching clobopus. Ghastly creeping down your stairs? Is that kind of like an insidious? Is he just coming down your stairs just trying to get you? Or like the grudge? Except it's ghastly. Rookie D. Sizzlepede. We got a blip bug. Followed by a Ooh! A more Peko! Well, not the um not the Marnie or the full arts of any kind of Marnie, but it is the full art more Peko. Very, very good pull. I do not have this card. Uh from this angle, the centering looks it looks okay. It looks like it's a little bit of right heavy. Um, a little hard to tell. Let's take a look at the back here. It actually looks pretty good. Not a bad, but a very cute, very cool and lovable more Peko. One of the cards I would like to see is a... I wish they had just like a Wooloo V card. Instead of the double, I would like to see a Wooloo V Max um, or something fantastic. Because I really, <laughs> I really liked Wooloo. At the very beginning of a Pokemon Sword, I was going around with... What was it? I had a full team of Wooloos for a minute there and I didn't let them evolve. So I, <laughs> I just had a squad of Wooloos <laughs> charging everywhere I went doing their cute fluffy little tackle. Energy. Pseudo Wudo. Uh, Hop, Dotler, Krabby, Zigzagoon, Glossifleur, Silicobra, we got the Yampy Boy, Clobopus again, followed by, ooh, a Snorlax V card. Wow, the Vs are really coming in. That is a pretty cool art. The centering is pretty terrible because look how heavy it is on this side, but that is a very cool Snorlax. He's doing some kind of swipe attack there. Um, maybe he's trying to grab some berries because you took his food. And we all know if you take food from Snorlax, he's going to beat the living sh out of you. Moving on. Two. Another pack. Is it possible to get a booster box with no VMAX cards or anything in it? To get pretty much just absolute cheeks of the butt. Energy switch. Ball toy. Chinchow. Sizzlepede. Zigzagoon. We got Amuna. Score bunny followed by a... <gasps> oh! Finally! A full heart trainer! My god! And it's a bead! Betty? Bead? Regardless, my first full art English trainer is the antagonist of Sword and Shield. Very, very cool Pokemon card. Bead, wow, you look absolutely gorgeous. You're not the Marnie we're looking for, but the centering on you looks really good. That is one fantastic pull. I even got to get a closer look up here. So finally, we got one full art trainer. It's not the Marnie. Can I potentially see even get the Marnie just now that I pulled a bead? Um... And if I don't get Marnie, I'm going to have to just buy more booster boxes of Sword and Shield because I'm going to hunt for this stuff. Um, there's quite a few things I would like to hunt for without my po on my Pokemon card journey to become a Pokemon master like many of you. I need to pull some of the cards I'm really looking for here. Um, and a lap ass non-holographic is not one of those things. So, uh, I still have yet to pull a Charizard, um, which hopefully later this week in my booster or the ETB of the Champions Path will have another shot at that. Um, but I've yet to pull any type of new Charizard from any current set. I don't have very many full art trainers of anything I really care about and want. So, um, man, it's hard because I don't want to just go out and pay for them. You know, that's not, that's not the way it's done. What you want to do is you want to pull them yourself and you want the satisfaction of that. And a Rapidash as well is not bringing us the fat money, the fat stack money cash wad we are looking for. Um, and I know, I wonder, I don't know exactly the amount and the prices of all the cards we've got so far. Hopefully we're doing pretty good on trying to beat our goal. I think I paid $100 for this booster box, so I don't know if we're on target yet to beat that, but I hope we are. 
Um, maybe you guys already know watching this video where, where we're standing right now with these cards, but Sobble, uh, Rhyhorn. We got Rosalia in the, I don't know, looks like a nice rose shop. Maybe she's the one selling all of her, selling herself. Is that sexual? Can Rosalia sell herself like that? Just keep growing? I don't know. I don't want to think too much on that one. Krabby, Nick it, followed by, oh, we got a monkey hanging from the tree, but not even a cool monkey hanging from the tree. See, look at that. My pile of cards is starting to overflow right now. All right, moving on. Hopefully you guys are getting all these code cards and hopefully you are getting a bunch of good stuff on your online packs. Um, I'm just now attempting to learn the game. Um, me and my girlfriend tonight, are, I bought one of those, the Battle Academy. I didn't know if I was going to open it up for a video, but I don't think there's much in there. Uh, especially since I don't know how to play the game really, that is going to be worth any time. But uh, it seems like it'll be fun to actually learn how to play the game. Uh, generic Lightning Doggo. still like the art of him. That's still very cool. He's kind of just running through a field. I really like that. So looking at our pile, looks like we're starting to get pretty low. And really the only thing we've gotten so far is that ba uh, the bead, BD full art trainer so far. No secret rares, no uh, amazing rares, no nothing. So hopefully we're not just getting the Alaka shaft as we would say. Ponyta, Sobble, uh, Maractus, Mudbray, Pawnard, Team Mill Grunt followed by a Snorlax picking some more berries. Snorlax, why don't you pick me out some, uh, pick me out some good pulls here instead of just shoving them down your fat throat. Card. And let's see what we got. Uh, energy, Reboot, Sudowoodo, we got Hob, Snom, Mawile, Glossifer, oops, got it happened again. Was that the same one with the Goldeen? That same thing happened? That's funny. Diglett, uh, we got a Heatmore, followed by Norbeetle. Let's get that out of here. Okay, Marnie, where are you, my fair lady? I am a huge fan of yours. And if I have to dress up in a Team Yell costume to pull you, I guess that's what I gotta do um, to get you out of here, huh? Energy, Potion, Hitmonchan, Lanoon, Krabby, Q Font, Ball Toy, Salamander, Ponyta, Hyper Potion, followed by another crappy Lapras. Don't care. All right, we are picking up the pace here on these cards as we try to get through these. I feel like we've gone another while now since anything. They had VMAX in this set, right? Is it just like I'm starting to lose my mind because we're not pulling anything very good that I'm like, there's no v VMAXs don't exist in this set. Nope. All right, what do we got left here? I don't know. <laughs> Why has my boxes been such ass? Where's my luck here, guys? I need your key again. Please give me all the key you have to bring us this magic instead of... Oh, it's Salamander. Doug Trio. <laughs> and terrified Doug Trio over there. I don't know why they're so terrified of him. Or is this the Jack Doug Trio? <laughs> Just hiding him up there. Oh, almost happened again. My wild ponyta. Clavipus followed by Turdinator. Turdinator. This is the Turdinator packs here. Okay, we got 10 packs left. So we got 10 good chances. I still pull on a couple other things here. At least one or two more things. Um, you know, hopefully what we get is at least doing pretty fair on our target goal here. And soon enough, everything I've pulled so far out of all these packs, I am going to put up on my eBay store. So if you guys have not had the chance to check it out, down in the description below, uh, I put my eBay store. It's, it's definitely weak right now. Everything's a little bit out, but I have a couple other cards I'm going to update and all the new stuff. Oh my God, I threw another one too. It was a Glossifleur. Um, so hopefully we're going to get a bunch of stuff on there. So if you guys are ever interested in the cards I pull and you would like to be part of this as well, oh, that's a cute little more Peko. Um, you'll be able to purchase a, a, a dual more Peko. That's pretty funny. Oh, we got almost all of them, right? We got those two. And then we got the full art version. It's just the more Peko trio. But yeah, if you guys want to join me and be part of my magical adventure, you're more than welcome to purchase any of the cards that I will be pulling out of all of the product coming up in the very near future. So, and if you guys do purchase some of my products, let me know. I would, um, you know, love to know. I, I put everything straight into its sleeves and I take very good care of them. I make sure to bubble wrap, send them in a nice box. So if you guys ever do purchase any of my cards, let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to chat back and forth with you guys. Energy, right on, big charm. Thwacky, score bunny. Naked Chin Chow, we got a Diglett. Oops, oh my god, I am mental. I keep screwing this up. Ball toy, another Cinderace, but but the other one was cooler. The one the other one was doing the sweet kick. The sweet kick of justice. Well, I'm starting to be overrun here by Pokemon cards on the side. I almost I literally cannot keep up anymore. 
Uh, they're just about crushing on over. Maybe I just need a new way to do this double. Uh, Quillfish and this T, Wulu, Shelder, Krogunk, Silicobra, Great Ball, followed by uh, Clay Doll. Wow, is it really gonna go 10 packs with Jack? That seems a little broken. I mean, we've gotten a fair amount of pulls. It's just everything's been a V, um, besides the one full art more Peko, and then the trainer. Anything? B, there was the smaller version of you. Yes, Sobble, Blip Bug. Oops. Oh my god. I am sorry, guys. I don't know why that keeps happening. Two Drapions. Let's get the garbage out of here. As we continue forward with more Pookie Man packs. There we go. Code card. I'm going to have to check the code cards and see if what I got, if most of them are just those green ones that basically say we're getting a bunch of butt <laughs> instead of getting any good pulls. Um, also, are there any amazing rares in this? I, I don't know if there are any amazing, any amazing rares in this set. Um, it's probably something I should have looked up, honestly, before I got this started. But I'm still learning. I'm still pretty new to doing all these Pokemon cards, so I'll get more knowledgeable as time goes on. Um, and again, thank you all to everyone who has been here uh, and been supporting the channel as we move forward and grow. I am so happy that all you guys are here and are liking the videos so far. So I'm doing my best to make them as entertaining as possible for you guys. And hopefully in the future, they can get better by getting some legit pulls instead of a bunch of garbage like this. Frostmoth, get the f*** out of here. All right, we got four packs left. Our hopes of stuff and Marnie aren't looking super good right now. I can't believe I might go this entire thing without getting one VMAX. That seems a little, uh, little fudged. Just, just a really bad booster box is my guess. Energy, Lady, Energy again, Ferrothorn, Crying Thobble, or cl Climbing Thobble. Raxus, <laughs> Mudbray, Ponard, Score Bunny. Uh, Bisharp followed by a Thiebel. Wow, holy crap. We're really getting through here. So what do we got? Three packs left? Well, a bunch of shite. Can we see another V at least? Give me something, man. We've been like 20 more packs with a bunch of garbage. Yeah, let's just, I'm just gonna power through this and see if we can get to anything good. Sobble. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, a Stone Journer V. You know what? I guess that's what it's looking like here. Not, we're probably not gonna get any V Max cards. Um, looks like we're gonna slowly climb out on that stone journer unless we got one epic pull waiting at the end here. Uh, second to last pack, by the way. Energy Thwacky, Pokemon Catcher, uh, The Drizzle, Q Fonts, Ball Toy, Slandit, Ponyta, Mincino, Yamper, followed by uh, Crappy Stone Journer. And then let's go ahead and follow it up with the last pack, guys. Okay, Energy, Poke Kid, Energy Surge, Team Yo Grunt, Mincino, Vulpix, Muna, Rosalia, Choodle, Rookie D, followed by a- <gasps> Well, up there we freaking go! The very last pack of our- <laughs> of our cards, hell yeah guys, it has been- the it has been the Marnie Morpeko night, so no Marnie unfortunately to finish off this pack, but we got a Morpeko V Max, which I think this actually would have been the very first pack we pulled of the night. So oh my god, look at this, we got all of them. Where did my other Morpekos go? Okay, they're lost in the pile over here, but bam, look at that there. We got more Peko V, more Peko V Max, two cutest of the newer Pokemon's, and then if you're curious about the pile that has grown over here. <laughs> That's what is over there right now. So, all right guys, let's go ahead and wrap up uh, and move on over to the end here. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. This was my first Sword and Shield booster box opening. I can't believe we got basically every single more Peko except for the regular V, um, cause we got the V Max, we got the full art. I guess we got the reverse foil and the common one. So we do not have the foil more Peko, but I'm gonna end up purchasing another booster box cause we're gonna keep searching for Marnie. I'm ha super happy I got finally an American full art trainer BD. So if you guys loved that and finally give me some good like, thank you guys, smash that like button for my first American full art trainer. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and ring that bell for more fun videos we have coming up very, very soon. Uh, it appears my schedule now, I'm gonna kind of make it solid just so it's perfect for you guys until the channel grows even higher, but we're gonna do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are gonna be the releases. And then as the channel grows, and if I can ever make the more money and stuff I can get at some point, obviously I just pay for this stuff all out of pocket right now, but hopefully in the future, there can be some better funded videos and we can get some streams going and a whole bunch of other stuff and i won't be able to do it without your guys support so if you guys did enjoy the video um subscribing and following and all that good stuff would be fantastic and you guys can find me on twitter as well under phoenix hero pokemon or my hashtag oh what is it my at symbols phoenix hero 69 i didn't make a pokemon i thought 69 is funny so <laughs> but again thank you guys so much for watching as always you guys are the true heroes and i will see you in the next episode have a good night everybody